Buenas noches, mi amigos. Mi nombre es Zabrel, and welcome to yet another episode of 60 Seconds Reatomized. We're still doing it. I put a new mask on because I think I'm just virtually unkillable in this game now. So let's just continue. Let's see what happens. Timmy went into the wasteland. Dolores uh, has not eaten for a while, so Dolores needs more food. Uh, oh my god. That's kind of all we got left there, Dolores, so I hope you're happy. Some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came over with a bunch of leaflets and tried to convince us to join something called Astro Citizen, but we refused. Now he just wants supplies, and he says he will reveal some state secrets to us in return. I'm not going to fall for that. That's a no-no, buddy. That's our water. Sorry, Mike. Radio again? Yeah. As a rule, we don't trust door-to-door -door salesmen, especially ones who attempt treason. We told him to go back to whatever planet he tr he dropped to Earth from. We get, he got angry and stormed off, mumbling something about how our souls are going to be devoured by alien Lord, Lord Zontar. Poor guy. He seemed very confused. Will not survive any lo without longer without water. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, well, none of us have food right now. A coded note was left on our doorstep. It's all symbols and numbers. Some sort of cipher that will need to be cracked before we can read the letter. Dolores seems eager to th for this challenge. However, it's hard to tell how long this could take her, and it could prove to be a waste of her time. Should she keep herself busy with it? Yes. I say yes. That's just an answer that I like to give. So Timmy left, and we were like, run out of food. Like, uh, Dolores instantly sat down with the code and started working on it with a purpose. She looks very focused. Let's hope that note is worth staying up all night. Dolores looks very tired already. She's no longer very thirsty. Mary Jane is like, yeah, sorry, Mary Jane. Like, we need the food. Uh oh. Huh? Today we were visited by a strange looking little man who introduced himself as a traitor. He insisted this price, his prices are so low that it's practically like cutting his own throat. What? The least we could do was to take a look at his offer, although for some reason we don't really trust him. Uh, was this pesticide? I don't think we really need pesticide. I think we're alright. I think we're good. I don't think we need... Knock on the door. Okay. There we go. I think there we go. Yeah. Oh, so much better. Uh, despite his desperate attempts to sell us all kinds of things, useless and not, he t we turned down the man's offer. It's probably for the better. He did look quite untrustworthy. Dolores complains she still can't get a good night's sleep around here. Dolores has been putting on a brave face, but she's trying. She must be starving. Yeah, we're all starving right now, Dolores. Oh. Why is it only water? Why is it only water? I mean, we'll take... Oh, do we need it? No, we don't need it. Or we're gonna take it. No. No. No, save that flashlight. There might be something I need. I need that flashlight, baby. Food has arrived. Nice. Oh, the gun's just... Ah! We refused to trade. Hopefully we made the right choice, but the trader was not happy about it about this. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back with the waste from the wasteland and is safe with us now. It was difficult to tell right and left in all of the rubble that our town turned into, but we found our way to our, where the gas station used to be. It doesn't look like a gas station anymore. The only recognizable parts of it were a few car wrecks and the cashier's booth that probably did a long trip up and then back to the ground. There was an abandoned truck in line for the gas. Oh, yes pump. We immediately recognized the logo of a well-known company on its side. Yep, the canned soup company. <laughs> a few water bottles were scattered around in the cashier's booth. None of the explosions damaged them. Though, it is funny how the pi that pipe's shadow got burned into the wall. Oh, the deck of cards was laying about just outside the booth. After picking them up and counting them out, the only thing missing were three sixes playable enough. <gasps> yes! Yes! 
so much for our rifle. It got d damaged during our expedition. That's okay. That's okay. Because you know what? Because you know what? We have food. We have water. And we have a deck of cards now. We're going to survive. We're gonna make it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's happened. I feel so happy the military is gonna save us. The military is gonna come and get us now, everyone. Yes! The cards are in place. All we need to do is wait for the army to pinpoint our location. That shouldn't take long, we hope. Ah. Uh, yes. Good job, everyone. Oh, Timmy's sick too. I don't care anymore. We're gonna survive. It took several days and a lot of silent cursing, but Dolores finally cracked the code. Impressive. The note contains detailed directions for some secret location nearby, but it also says Dolores must show up alone. She says she's willing to go, but we can't help wondering whether it's some sort of trap. Should she risk it? Yes. Because everyone in this game seems to be friendly, damn it! No, that didn't sound good, damn it. Uh-oh. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Okay. Well, everyone's out of food again. Shit. Ah. A gang of thugs started banging on our door, ordering us to surrender and give up all of our supplies. How do we respond to these scumbags? Let's see if we can take some supplies of theirs and threaten them with axes. Oh. Oh, there goes our axe. We were able to fight off the bandits this time, but there's no guarantee they won't come back. We need to be prepared at all times. Oh, we got a lock. Our axe broke. Uh, Dolores came back looking relaxed and carrying extra supplies. The note was written by her dear old friend Peggy, who now inhabits a shelter together with her other work colleagues for Dol of Dolores. She claims it has, was some sort of security job, or secretary job, from before she married Ted. It's weird how little we know about that time of her life. She's quite a private person, our dear Dolores. But clearly, all these years ago, she made friendships for life. These supplies will surely prove useful. We are killing it now. We are, we've been killing it. Like, this entire playthrough has just been absolutely killing it. We are glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Okay. Yeah, we can actually do everything now. We give food, we give water. Let's just do it up. Um, yeah, we can set up... Oh, no, yeah. We stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh, dear. What if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it. But what about the children? Yeah, let them all listen. <coughs> I'm sure it's nothing too bad. Nothing too bad, come on. We were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't Soviets we heard. Turned out it was Canadians, which isn't that much better. Either way, they're foreigners and we couldn't understand what they were saying? Not a word, how disappointing. Okay. Uh, okay. Timmy's not thirsty, not thirsty. Uh, we, uh, I don't think we have food anymore, do we? Oh, we do have food. Who needs food? Uh, Mary Jane needs food. Everything seems okay with Dolores. Okay, so we'll feed Mary Jane, and we'll call it a day. Um, also, Mary Jane's gonna be the one that goes. Uh, actually, Dolores. Go out with your bare hands. Let's see. That seemed to have worked with Timmy. If Timmy can survive it, I think you can survive it too, Dolores. We got this. We got this. Right? I think we got this. On our way out. Okay. Uh, Timmy needs an extra blanket. He's shivering all the time. Uh oh. Yeah, he needs a med kit, don't he? Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand on a wire or some other rusty piece of metal. His wound is not looking pretty, and we need to do something about it. Oh, he's gonna die now. <coughs> oh, sh shit, no. 
Oh, no. No, 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 no. The best medicine for any sickness or injury is to clench your teeth and ignore it. That's what our grandma always said. Grandma was a tough... Bro she was a tough son of a bitch. Tell ya. Of course, she's dead now, and he has been for a while, ever since she got that nasty frog bite at the fine age of 25. <laughs> the ripe old age of 25 there. No. Just when we thought we might be quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits is on the other side of the that door, demanding we walk out hands in the air or they get will get in the heart or they will get in the hard way. That doesn't sound too good. What do we do? Well we put a padlock on the door and we say goodnight. Unbreakable. Ah, it's dead. 76 days, I'm saying yeah, we are unbreakable. <laughs> We didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. Seems that they gave this whole break-in a fair shot. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've heard this. If we don't do anything about Timmy's sickness, it... We were able to defend our home. What if they come back? Yeah, well, nothing. We, we die next time. Might get worse. Timmy is rested. Ah, oh, Timmy's no longer thirsty. No longer thirsty. Could use a little food. Well, let's give Mary Jane a little food. Group of doctors knocked on the door today, requesting some supplies that would be helpful in refilling our, their first aid kits. We didn't doubt they were the real deal or, for a second. They did have lab codes and everything. Shall we help them? Yes! Yes! <coughs> and that's gonna give us a first aid kit! Right? No, it didn't give us a first aid kit. Why do we have one? Oh, what? What did we get? We asked them for their doctor licenses, but all we of all them claimed they left them in another pair of trousers. We didn't dare ask if it was just the one pair. We gave them a water bottle and wished them a good journey, and better luck with trousers. Oh. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. Oh. So this is what it's come down to. Sitting idly in the shelter with very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom? If only there was something we could do about it. Like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken and we saw her restocking the shelter before the bomb fell. Should we go and check it out? She and her children probably didn't even make it in there, right? You're right. They probably died! <laughs> oh, did we just get shot? I think we got shot. No? Okay, good. We're all alive. We went and got what we needed to kind of came back. We're sure that group will do just fine. Yes! So, water. Timmy gets a little bit of the old med kit. Um, was anyone hungry? No one was hungry, right? No one's hungry. Good. Sweep. Traitor alert! Timmy's salvaged comic books are mostly harmless science fiction pulp. However... Come of them don't, or some of them don't feature the brave Astro Citizen program astronauts, but cosmonauts. That boy is eating up Soviet propaganda. What a disgrace! Shall we banish Timmy to the wasteland for his traitorous ways and dispose of the blasphemous comics? No, do not do that. That would be a bad thing. That seems like a really bad thing. Why would we do that? We graciously allowed Timmy to stay in the shelter, despite his actions. We believe that the, in the power of rehabilitation and second chances. Also, we're running out of toilet paper, and these propaganda books will do nicely. Oh, my. No one's hungry, no one's thirsty, so yeah. Okay, the military is communicating through the radio again. We're sure it was a signal to evacuate out of here. But it turns out that they need our help. The speaker requested that all the able citizens are in the area should chop down a tree or two in this nearby park. Sounds ridiculous, but they're claiming this will help it make it easier for the, them to extract us. We never, we never, we never even liked that park. So let's do this already. We can't. We lost our axe in the fight. The end. What happened? We're not lumberjacks, and we're not chopping down that park. Maybe another time. A pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they'd captured a woman though, whose description matched Dolores. We don't think they will let her go. Oh. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will it last? 
Of all places, we could have perished. This is probably the best one. Or maybe not. We survived for 80 days. 80 days I survived in this game. Wow. That's incredible. I don't... Wow. I, I don't know if I could have done better. I... Wow. I, I honestly... I, I shouldn't have even... I don't think I could have done... I don't think I can do better because I don't even think I should have made it this far. This was... Incredible. <laughs> Every decision you make made such a, makes such a difference. Uh, in this case, like just going out and searching without any weapon made a huge decision. Or was a huge mistake, obviously, but... Holy crap. I, and, oh my god. Just everything in this game was just so well made. The ideas that were poured into uh, every... Uh, so ch a chapter or so uh, of just surviving it's really incredible how like you want to go and make sure that everyone survives until the end but also it makes sense to let a couple of them or some of them die off so you can save on food everything you do is very it's based on the realm of survival uh, whether it is for survival of the entire group or survival of some of the group, like sending people off to uh, go and search out in the wilderness and whatnot on their own. You can save up on food while they're away because it's like, oh, well, we're feeding the group still while that person's searching. When that person comes back, we can feed that person more. There's so many tactics to this game that it is incredible to think of uh, just how different let's plays can go about this uh, I'm honestly shocked that we made it to as many episodes as we've had this has been I think we've this is the third episode now absolutely astonishing that we made it this far uh, yeah so thank you so very much for joining me in this series this is gonna be the last episode we're not doing this again this is this this was way longer than I actually anticipated it to be uh, I was just gonna do one more round, and then if that went well, it was like, okay, well, we'll call it an end. No, this is it. This is it, because there's no way I can do better than 80 days. Uh, but thank you for joining me on this journey. If you enjoyed this journey, hit the like button down below, or if you even just liked this video, hit the like button down below. Also, leave a comment down below at how long you've made it in this game. Is 80 really that impressive, or are some of you even better than that? Let's see. I would... I... Very impressed that I made it to 80 days, honestly. But I would love to hear your stories in playing this game as well. And also, if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button so that you get more updates on videos that I do here on YouTube. And until next time, hail to the king!